Hey guys, this is Tom, and we're going to be doing another M12 64-man draft. Okay, here we are for pick one. So the cards we're looking at here, um, this is a fairly weak pack. The strongest card in the uh, pack here is Azure Mage. Other notable cards are Stave Off, Frost Breath, um, Tormented Soul. We are going to go ahead and pick up the Azure Mage, and hopefully the next pack is a little bit stronger. Okay, here we are for pick two. Um, the clear choice here is Fireball, but uh, there's a few other cards here that are worth noting. Um, Gideon's Avenger can be quite good. Um, Bell Tower Sphinx is a very nice defensive creature as well. And um, I think the other cards here of note, like Bloodseeker is great in black. Um, those are pretty much the strongest cards here in the pack. It's gonna be Fireball by a mile. Blue-red is actually an interesting color combination, and it's one that I like quite a bit. Uh, I think that um, you know certain cards like Mind Unbound can be very good in this in this type of archetype if we uh, if we see one. Okay, here we are for pick three. Um, let's see, Ice Cage is fine. Uh, Griffin Sentinel is fine. The card I'm looking at here is Phantasmal Dragon. I'm not sure exactly how good of a card this is just because um, if it's targeted obviously it dies so against you know like a white deck it's not nearly as effective but it's still a very powerful creature if it's not dealt with so I think we are going to go ahead and pick up the dragon um, hopefully let's see what can we wheel so most likely tormented soul sentinel that's two three four five six so we're not going to get much back but um, maybe if we're lucky Okay, so here we are looking at, well, the strongest cards here are Giant Spider. It's, that's definitely the best card in the pack. Um, Plummet is good as well. Active Treason. Mana Leak is fine. Bears are fine. Not so interested in the Sentinel. It's, it's okay, but it's definitely not amazing. I think that here we want to continue with the, uh, the red-blue theme. Um, Active Treason is a little bit weaker in red-blue just because it's traditionally going to be a little bit more of a defensive deck. Um, so I think that, you know, picking up maybe the Mana Leak or the Bear might be a little bit better. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the, well, it's between Bear and Leak. Like, it can be offensive. Uh, I'm just going to grab the Mana Leak here. It can be offensive if you get, like, Tunnelers and um, Fiery Hellhounds, but... Not sure that's how we want to build it. So I'm glad we grabbed the uh, the Mana Leak on the last one, because we are going to be looking at taking the Phantasmal Bear here. Um, we could also pick up a Plummet, but I think it's worth trying to stay open in red, just to see if we can go two colors. Bloodseeker, again, is another option. And here we're very happy to pick up an Aether Adept. So green is still coming here. I'm not seeing any red, really. I mean, I'm not sure what was first picked over the fireball, but, um, you know, passing a fireball, you would think you would, you know, definitely have to not be in red. So here we're happy to see a divination. And we're very happy to take a second Aether Adept. Um, one of the better creatures in uh, Magic 2012, especially in the common slot, um, Aether Adept is just has such a powerful impact on the game. Still seeing a lot of blue getting passed to us, so very happy to be in blue. If it turns out that uh, red doesn't really open up, um, we can certainly just like splash the fireball and then go into a second main color if we open a bomb in pack two. Um, not that many strong cards here. I mean, the best card here is probably Distress. But I think that, you know, we can pick up, like, a Circle of Flame for the sideboard if red does open up. And Distress isn't so powerful that I would be, you know, unhappy to take the Circle of Flame. So still a lot of blue cards coming. Um, typically, I think we're going to want the Cutthroat here, just a little bit better for what we have planned. Um, like, Alluring Siren is good in, like, a blue-green shell. It can also be good in, like, blue-white, but... Um, 
In blue red, maybe not so much. And here we're happy to pick up a lava axe. If we do end up getting, you know, a few goblin tunnelers and kind of go the uh, evasion route, um, lava axe is certainly a nice addition. Uh, none of these cards are really all that good, so we're just going to grab fire breathing um, in case we need to use it as a sideboard to target an illusion. Okay, so here we are for pack two. The strongest card we're seeing is, uh, it's between Pacifism and Sanger Vampire. Um, like we could pick up the Chasm Drake just to stay blue and kind of keep our options a little bit open. Um, but I mean, we're also fine going, you know, into a second color and then just splashing the fireball. We certainly don't have to be blue red I think that I think that Sanger Vampire is significantly more powerful than the Chasm Drake to the point where I think it's worth maybe hedging a little bit here and picking up the Sanger Vampire um, and that way if we you know get a very strong black signal we can still uh, potentially go into black so I think well I mean Chasm Drake is fine Hmm. I think we're going to take the Sanger Vampire here. And thank God we did, because we got past another Sanger Vampire. So it's not close at this point. Um, hopefully we can, like, wheel a Unsummon, or maybe, um, you know, maybe like a Scepter or something like that. Okay, now that we're looking to be um, blue, black, splash, red, you know, we're happy to pick up either like a volcanic dragon, or I'm sorry, um, blue, black, splash, red. So most likely at this point, we could pick up either like a Bloodseeker. Um, we're not that fast, though, so I think that the Manolith is going to be a little bit better for us. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. You know, the little bit of fixing that we can actually get is going to be very helpful. Here we're looking at Unsummon or Tormented Soul. Um, like if we pick up a Vampire Outcast, Tormented Soul is quite good. Um, however, Unsummon is also a very nice effect. I think though that because we have two Aether Adepts, um, I'm going to go ahead and take the Tormented Soul. I mean, there there gets to be a point where if you have so much bounce, it just becomes redundant. Um, it's hard to get to that point, but it is possible. We already have two Sanger Vampires. Don't really want a Chasm Drake at this point. I think that um, either Unsummon or Divination might be a little bit better for us. Um, yeah, we can certainly pick up you know more five drops later also. I just don't want a super big five drop slot. So we're going to pick up the Divination here. Yeah, I think we're going to take Divination. Okay, here I'm happy to pick up, well, you know, Alluring Siren is actually kind of an interesting card. Um, when you combo it with Sanger Vampire, it can become quite good. Ice Cage is a nice, you know, little bit of removal here, but I think that I might try the Alluring Siren plan, just because if we can walk someone into our 5-5 five five or one of our Sanger Vampires, um, it could be quite good. We're going to go ahead and cut the Lava Axe here. The way this deck is kind of coming together, it, it doesn't... I don't think it's going to be as aggressive. I think it might be sort of a mid-range. Okay, so here we're happy to pick up... Well, I mean, we could pick up the Phantasmal Bear and then just become sort of slightly more aggressive. Um, like, Mind Ride is fine. We already have a fairly big 3-drop slot, though. So I think, you know, and Disentomb is fine also, but I think maybe a little bit more aggression with uh, Phantasmal Bear. Hmm. Yeah. 
here we're happy to grab a consume spirit. We don't have that much in terms of removal at this point, so I think that you know it's really going to come at a premium. What we really want to get now is like a vampire outcasts or you know even like a dust hunter bat wouldn't be bad. And here we're happy to grab a distress. Like distress is great if you see that they have you know a big bomb they're waiting to play. Um, Potentially like a sideboard card. I mean, it's it's fine in the main deck, but it just may not get there, just depending on how our deck turns out. But very good in the sideboard, regardless. Um, Dark Favor is fine to put on like a Tormented Soul. Yeah, it certainly can work out quite well. Um, these cards are all pretty bad. Happy to grab on Summon. Okay, so going into pack three, um, you know, we have, it looks like, about 20 playables. So, not sold on running Dark Favor main. I mean, if we pick up, like, another Tormented Soul, it might be fine. Um, or we could just open Penavis. Uh, so, <laughs> that's a pretty nice bomb right there. Yeah, this deck is definitely looking quite good. Um, so probably just a few more pieces of removal, and then should be in a good spot. Like here, we, Doomblade is perfect for what we want to do. Um, well, it, it's always perfect for what you want to do, but this is a pretty pretty deep pack here. I mean, we, you know, if we get back um, like an Alluring Siren or maybe like Mind Unbound, if people don't take it. Um, or even Distant Tomb. Like Soren's Thirst is going to go uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, so we might get like, back like an Tomb or something like that. Okay, this one is an interesting choice. We could pick up another Unsummon, or um, at this point, we could actually grab another Manolith. Um, oh, we, we don't have a super expensive curve. I mean, having the extra mana isn't necessarily the biggest thing, but however, I think that I really like smoothing out our mana um, and being able to, you know, more consistently play our fireball, I think is going to be more important than, you know, getting like a second on summon. So I am going to grab the mana lift here. Very happy to see Aether Adept. Um, yeah, this deck is really turning out. Mind Control? Oh my god. Okay, so yeah, and there's like three, four, five, six, seven, or six cards we play here. Not the flight. <laughs> so, um, Flash Freeze is a pretty good sideboard card. I don't think we really need the Coral Merfolk. I mean, we already have enough playables, so I'm just going to grab the Flash Freeze, uh, the fo uh, Flash Freeze for the board. Um, we could pick up a third Manolith. I'm really not going to run a third one though. So I think that maybe like Great Sword. Well, we we have three Phantas or two Phantasmal Bears and a Phantasmal Dragon. So I mean, Great Sword is pretty terrible in this deck. Uh, we could put it on like an Aether Adept to make it a legitimate threat. But I think that I'm just going to take the... Yeah, I'm just going to take the Manolith here. There's no real other card I want to play. I suppose I could cut the Greatsword, but don't really feel I need to. Um, here we're going to... We're going to cut the Stave off. Okay, so we have 13 creatures right now. Um, like, we could pick up another Mana Leak, but I think that we want a few more creatures. Um, I'm going to grab the Fleet Wing here. 